Hey hi everyone, this is Mukesh Utwani once again from learn-animation.com. Today in this video, we are going to talk about how you can handle Shutter Dome in Playwright with Java. So far, we have seen how to handle frames, how to handle alerts. So if you go back to previous videos, we discuss frame alerts and everything. But we are going to discuss something new called Shutter Dome. So so far, what we have done. So suppose this is a web page, okay? What we call is a dome, right? document object model so if you have certain elements here here or on this page you can directly interact with playwright now sometimes on few applications you will find shadow dome okay so before I explain shadow dome let me show you one practice page so this is your xpath practice page and you can see this is one of the field for username now if you right click and click on inspect this is a, a regular input tag right where type equal to text id equal to kills but notice this is coming under shadow dome can you see this shadow root which is open then you have this uh, hyperlink h4 and input tag so in order to interact with this input tag which is this but it is coming under shadow dome right so you can see shadow uh, shadow root open and close i will show you what exactly it is you cannot directly interact with it first you have to go to shadow root and once you are able to access shadow root then only you can access input element and I will show you how but before we discuss about this scenario let's talk about what exactly do you understand by shadow dome now if you go through this official documentation by Mozilla they have given a very good diagram about uh, what a shadow dome so shadow dome allow hidden dome trees to be attached to the element in the regular dome tree for example this is our regular dome right now you can have a separate dome and in case if you want to attach any styling or any specific uh, formatting you want to do instead of making changes to all if you want to make specific changes to this particular set of elements you can wrap into a shadow dome so shadow dome allow developers to create a separate dome structure or a separate dome tree for a specific component and it is completely isolated from the main dome for example this is completely uh, separated and this is completely separated so basically this help uh, preventing styling issues and make component development more easier more modular so this is how the final uh, the diagram will look like you have a regular dome and then you have certain elements which is coming under shadow dome and this shadow dome is attached to a shadow host so before we interact you, these are some terminologies that you have to remember so basically this is your shadow root all the elements inside the shadow dome is connected to this root so once you're able to go to a shadow root then you access this element this element and this element so if i show you in this diagram once you are able to get the shadow root then you can access all the element which is coming under shadow dome so shadow host a regular dome node that shadow dome is attached to which is basically this shadow host and in this diagram this shadow tree this complete thing called shadow tree shadow boundary is basically this boundary that you can see here right this is called shadow boundary and shadow root which is the root node for the complete dome tree sorry shadow tree not dome tree shadow tree now as an automation test engineer you just need to perform some activities on this right without shadow room you can directly do type click type click but inside this you need to first access shadow root and then you can access now how we are going to do this let's quickly see so i'm going to show you in eclipse i already have created one java class handle shadow room i already have written create chromium set, set headless equal to false and slow motion is 200 millisecond create a browser context and create a page now if if you don't want to create browser context by default we have so you can say browser dot new page and our page is ready now let's copy this url i will say page dot navigate now once i navigate i will show you that if i don't handle the shadow root what happens for example this is the id right now if i try accessing this ID kills so I will write page dot locator since we captured ID I will go with hash 
id and let me type for example mukesh otwani this is what i want to type without getting access to the shadow root i'm trying to fill and you will get some exceptions so the moment you run this as java application the notice it is not performing right why it is not performing because it is trying to find out this particular kills id on the main dom somewhat here but actually this element is coming under shadow dom which is somewhat here so it will keep on waiting after once the wait will expire then it will throw an exception because it's trying to find in the main dom but this is available inside the shadow dom so let it fail once it will fail i will show you now we don't have a dedicated method in playwright okay for shadow dom playwright do this automatically and we call this concept as auto piercing it means you don't need to uh, basically switch and do operation auto piercing will be applicable here only one rule you have to remember that you cannot use x path here you have to go with css selector please remember not allowed whenever you are working with shadow dom always use css selector now how it works so in order to first interact with this element let me capture the shadow root so this is a shadow root and it is open please remember guys you cannot interact if shadow root is closed you cannot automate if shadow root is open then only you can perform so by any chance if shadow root is closed please ask the development team to uh, make it open so that you can perform activity with close you cannot interact so first let me go ahead and use this id it is coming with dev tag right so what i will do comment this first i will go to shadow root so i will say page dot locator dev tag and id is basically username right now this will return me shadow host so let me use this let me call this shadow root not host it's shadow root let's import this from playwright now once i get the shadow root then i will go ahead and use this again i cannot use xpath i'm using id so i will use hash kills now you cannot go with page directly because the moment you say page obviously it will find in a main dom now since we got the shadow root you type shadow root dot locator and then you type kills it's a id so i will use hash now i can say fill for example i want to fill mukesh utwani fine so now let's execute this and see the output this time when i run as java application it started the same practice page and if you come down you will notice it will type here this is actually the field which we are looking now the page is loading slow so basically once the page load is done then it is finding and it's able to type now and how it is able to type first locate the shadow root make sure it is open i will just note it down here make sure shadow root is open you cannot work with a close one and once you get the shadow root using shadow root again you call locator and then try to find the element and perform operation if you want to further uh, do this this actually again will return you the element right so i will say element then you can say element dot fill so i what i did i actually typed in a one line but in case if you want to break it down this is how it will work so auto piercing we are not having any dedicated method as such okay now again if you want to simply make it into a single statement there's a direct way as well so when i say direct way you type first page dot locator 
so let me stop this go back here again try to inspect this this is our shadow root right so what we have is a dev tag with id so you can directly copy this id come back here first we will say find this which is your root then give a space then which element you want to find i want to find this which is again with id so come back here give a space hash id of that particular element which i want to interact and then i can say fill and again i type i can type anything that i want right now i'm just printing my name so we are going to execute now run as your application so we are doing the same thing but instead of uh, doing into multiple statements we are just doing into single statement so let's see whether it's typing here or not now this page load okay this uh, practice page is little heavy so it's taking some time to load once it will load then it will come back here still it's loading yeah once the loading is done it is typing so i hope you got the point so let me just quickly do a recap i will share this link as well so just understand the terminologies before you access any element which is coming under shadow root first access the shadow root make sure it is open don't use xpath use css selector first this shadow root then you can access these elements whether it's a hyperlink h4 tag or this input so approach number one first we tried finding the shadow root once we cut the shadow root using the same reference again i tried to find element and then perform fill if you want to do in one line this is how you can do it okay before we end one more scenario this is a very rare scenario but in case if you come across this scenario that you have a regular dome then you have a shadow dome inside shadow dome you have a iframe inside iframe you have a web element in that case first you have to access shadow root then switch to frame and once you switch to frame then you can access this element very rare scenario but yes chances are high that you might come across this scenario as well so yeah that's all about this video i hope this video is helpful if yes then do support this channel share with with your friends and colleagues and if you're new to this channel then make sure you subscribe this channel and i will see you in the next video till then bye bye take care